welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Riza. I do fashion and lifestyle videos. So if you're interested in seeing videos like that from me, then absolutely hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I've uploaded a new video. Today, I'm going to be talking about fall essentials or to be more specific, fall essentials that I'll be getting into. So I know that there may be some differences between everyone's wardrobe and what they may consider a staple fall essential piece. I may leave some things out. I thought I was very thorough with my list, but you know, your girl can be a little forgetful. So if I miss anything, you can of course comment below and say like, hey, like what do you think about this being an essential or something? And I'll probably be like, yeah, add it to the list. We are very open here. I will just get right into my fall essentials. And then at the end of the video, I will even go further into describing how you can even spice up these essentials so you don't get bored by it. I feel like everyone needs their essentials. Obviously, you know, it's something that you could have in like your capsule wardrobe. It allows a lot of versatility in your closet so you're not constantly buying something new. You just have these staple pieces and you add the spice on after, either with accessories or just the way that you wear these pieces. There's a lot of ideas that you can come up with and you know, you're not just satisfying like that style portion, but it's also practical too. Without further ado, without chattering too much, just gonna get right into it. So I will start with shoes. I think something that has sort of evolved, like it, it, there's like a different version of it every single year. It's just a knee high boot. I think for a while we were seeing like riding boots, like circa 2007 to 2016 maybe. And then we started like branching off and actually adding some more variety to the knee high boot, which I'm happy about because it offered a lot more of creativity around making an outfit pop off. It can be styled in so many different ways. I have my pair of knee high boots that I've had since last fall. They're from Storettes and I've styled them for fall, for winter, and like all the in-between months where it's a little colder, it's not spring, it's not summer. I'm gonna wear some knee high boots to elevate my outfit. And you could also pair it under some jeans that have a bit more of a flare bottom so that way it could just, you know, elevate the look, make it look more formal or just more stylish. You know, it doesn't have to be a formal occasion for you to wear a heel. But just to go off more of the boot category, of course, docks are such an essential. I feel like they're never going to go out of style. I mean, they're just so versatile for every single look, especially if you want a balance between feminine and masculine. That is definitely something I resonate with in my style. I'm not a girly girl. I'm also not a tomboy. I like a balance. If I'm wearing, let's say like a skirt or a dress and it's more casual and I just want to sort of dress it down, I'll pair it with my docks. Next, I feel like this is sort of a recent, more like trendy essential, but still an essential at the end of the day because they're like house shoes, even though I do still wear them out myself, but they are Burks. I love the way that they're being styled now. I think when we think about Burks or the way that I used to think about Burks back then was that they were just house shoes and I don't really wear house shoes. I kind of do now. And I just like seeing how it's styled for like actually going on and it's like super casual, super comfy. Like if you want to say it's chuggy, go ahead because the next thing I'm going to say is chuggy and I still don't care because oh yeah, I got them. We got them. We do not care. So my next essential would be platform Uggs, not just regular Uggs, platform Uggs. I know the platform is the trendy part, but the UG is the essential. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that it's so basic. Like, I do not care. They are so comfortable. They keep my feet warm and we prioritize keeping warm. Last in shoe essentials are heel boots, which I mentioned before, but I also just wanted to say like, if you wanted a more formal thing and you wanted something with a heel, you could do knee high boots, booties, and if you want to wear like a heel heel, I would recommend doing a closed toe because you know, <laughs> I've definitely worn heels that are open toe when it was freezing and just one gust of wind, one gust of wind, honey. And I'm like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm already in pain from these heels and yeah, sucks. 
So I would say do a platform heel, like a classic black closed toe heel. I'm like looking to the side because I'm looking at my one Mark Fisher heel. And it's funny because it's just one. I don't know where the other one is. I'll have to find that. I think I left it in my dad's car. I'll even like link them below if you want to check it out because they're really cute. They're super easy to walk in because they're like a thick platform heel. So I feel like that's even more helpful, especially if it is cold. I also love seeing how all of these shoes are paired with leg warmers. Kind of playing into the ballet core aesthetic. I'm for it. I'll talk about trends and aesthetics in a different video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I don't know, it adds to the comfort, makes you feel cute, but also cozy. So I tend to always go for that combo when I'm working at home, if I'm just like meeting up with friends, going out for errands. Like what's great about the essentials is that you literally wear it every single day. So whatever makes you feel comfy, warm, and cute comfy warm cute i was gonna say like it's the three c's it's like no it's not <laughs> but hopefully you know what i mean so that is all on shoes next i'm gonna go into coats since it is not officially winter yet so let me just start with the lightest i would say it would be like a jumper this one is from the bar i love it it's so oversized and it's just comfy jumpers sweatshirts if you compare it with like a set like it has like matching sweatpants or leggings or something like even better because it's like less effort to put an outfit together while you still look really cute denim jacket okay so i had my zara jacket since last fall i actually got it during fall fashion week it was such a spontaneous buy but once i tried it on i was like i need it and i've had it i love it i do not have any other denim jackets it's my favorite wash so that's another thing too with your essentials make sure you're buying in your favorite color palette that is a neutral yes that's good advice <laughs> favorite wash favorite sizing and everything like i do like that oversized fit until they come out with some cool styles that are more fitted but i'm just saying like in terms of practicality especially if you're layering underneath it's good to go oversized in my opinion next obviously leather jacket you could wear it for a special occasion and like re look really like batty chic but you could also wear it casually like i love leather jackets i have a very expensive leather jacket from revolve that i love and has a little more of like high wiring like silver throughout it's very high quality it is real leather i'm so sorry please don't come after me like i did not know that i was not vegan i'm sorry but what i am loving this season is bomber jackets the leather jacket itself is an essential but right now what's kind of trending is a bomber jacket and i realized that because i had put down an investment for that leather jacket like that's always going to be my staple leather jacket i'm not going to spend as much as i did on that jacket for something that is like kind of trending so i got my bomber jacket from garage i believe it was about like 90 dollars and I believe it's vegan. Yeah, I think it's like faux leather. I love this jacket to death. I've been wearing it nonstop since I bought it and it is just my favorite jacket. It is perfectly oversized, but also it's not long. It's still cropped. I think I realized that too about the types of leather jackets that I like. I need them to be a little more cropped, but also oversized. And these brands just sort of read my mind with exactly what I wanted. So make sure if you're looking for one yourself, that you source it and it agrees with your price point and the quality and the fit. Moving on from Barma's jackets, trench coat, obviously such a good staple. It's very elegant. It could really elevate a very casual outfit while also being paired with something that is a lot more formal. So I feel like trench coat or pea coat. Pea coat, I feel like is like the end of October, November, December type of jacket. Meanwhile, a trench coat is something that you could wear basically now, like September, October, maybe November, if you layer it right. I recently, this is from a collab that I did with this brand called Noise, and they're like a vegan, cruelty-free, sustainable clothing brand, which is really cool. And um, I even have a 20% off discount code. So if you guys are looking for, are still looking for your fall essentials in terms of coats, they have clothing too. But just in terms of like their coats, you can use my code below for 20% off. And I really like them. I've been wearing this coat a lot. Last thing in coats would be blazers. How long have blazers been so popular in everyone's style? I think it's a really good staple to have. And I would just say maybe have two max have one that is leather and then one that is like a fabric material because the fabric material is definitely more casual meanwhile you could pair the leather blazer with something that's like a cool like going out look all right so that's all in coats bottoms leggings 
you know, the regular ones that like I work out in, like those are great. I get mine from Aritzia and Lululemon. Like there's obviously so many places where you could get like good quality leggings. And also I will say flare, flare leggings, the ones from Aerie. I forgot what they're called, but I think you guys know which one I mean. Like they're, they went crazy viral on TikTok. I really, really like the flare leggings. I think that it looks better than just wearing regular leggings because it looks like you're going to go work out compared to wearing flare leggings where it just looks like a really comfy, cozy outfit. And then in terms of denim, I would say have a pair of light wash and dark wash. I would just say have like one pair that is high rise and one pair that is low rise so that you have like versatility with your denim and you know there's also like different like silhouettes that you can play with so you know you're not just wearing like one style of jeans but of course that's up to you if you know that you like one style of jean just go with that you're more comfortable when you're ready to take risks you'll take the leap and next in terms of skirts so it's gonna get a little harder to wear skirts as you know we get into the colder months but of course you can layer that under like some really good quality tights so that way like your legs stay warm but I would say when we're in that transitional fall period where you can get away with wearing a mini skirt I think pleated skirts are really cute and of course you have your staples of a leather mini skirt or a micro mini skirt which my favorite is from Daniel Guzio and then lastly trousers I feel like have been the main attraction for every season for the past like two years but I like how now it's transitioned over to parachute pants and like track pants there's like a term for it it's like not workman or walkman I don't know it's like utility wear almost if anyone knows the term please like comment below what it is called but I love that and how it is being moved over to being an essential it offers a lot of variety I like the low waist look it can also be worn high-waisted too next on to I'm gonna talk about knitwear first I have one more thing above here I have my little notebook here I feel like that's the most essential thing for fall and winter but let's talk about fall first. So, of course, like if you have a knit dress that's more like maxi, midi, I feel like that could look really cute, really elevated, really classy, effortless, timeless, wear it with your pea coat or your trench coat and you'll just look like a boss. Like, I love that, love that. And then of course, turtlenecks. I myself like it to be like skin tight, like, like cinturin like type of turtlenecks. I don't really like chunky turtlenecks that are like really like big until it's winter like until it's really cold and you know i just want to look like a little cinnamon bun you know same for skirts like i wouldn't say go for like a mini skirt but of course up to you i think it would look really cute with a midi or maxi skirt if it was like an, a knit material like i feel like that would look really cute and then of course this is more of a trendy piece like i said before when i was talking about like warmers boleros love boleros like it brings me back to being a dancer being in the studio so that's always going to be a staple to me because i grew up with it and i just think that you know it's different from you know just having a cardigan and or like just like throwing a sweatshirt on you know it's just like something else you could wear something underneath to layer it make it look like a little more elevated next and last subject that i wanted to talk about was monochromatic sets so sweat sets obviously and then workout sets obviously knit sets i guess i could say like as an example of a monochromatic set would be like the trench skirt and like bandeau sets it's very mew mew you can mix and match it you know you don't have to wear it as a set you could pair the top with the jeans or you could wear the skirt with like an oversized like chunky sweater and it'll just look really cute and give you you know multiple outfits out of one that's what i love about sets you can mix and match it and make it a little more versatile to work for your wardrobe so you're getting more bang for your buck essentially essentially no pun intended those are all of my fall essentials the last thing i just wanted to talk about like i mentioned at the beginning of the video was how you can spice up these essentials if you already have these basics in your closet and just feel like you know you have some room to experiment and try some different things and pair it with what you already have like in your essentials wardrobe and just make it like more trendy more personally styled to you and unique to you some of the things that i've pointed out or i've seen like on the runway from you know just people watching or pinterest instagram all of it crochet and cutouts i have a skirt i have a mini skirt from this brand called mixed gals this skirt it has the thong thing built in and it's 
super cute. I love it. Off the shoulder, this is something that's really trending right now. I've seen it in crochet. I've seen it with cutouts. I've seen it just with like basic tops. Mesh. Love me a good mesh piece. I wore this mesh dress to a festival and the amount of compliments that I got I was like soaring. I was in a cloud. It was like the right amount of spice without being distasteful. I felt like a boss. So obviously if you could find mesh in pants, tops, I love seeing it in pants. I think it's so cool. Next, glitter studs and metallic. I'm mainly going to be a glitter girl because I love my disco moment. It's chef's kiss it makes me feel like the spice that everyone needs you know it's all about how you want to dress how you want to feel essentially whatever occasion like whatever you want to be just tailor your outfit to how you want to feel that's my best advice for you and it's not even my own advice it's from lindsay adkinson i think that's her last name i don't have that much metallic i think i only have like one thing but I love seeing that. I love seeing like high rise metallic pants or low rise. The greatest thing about the trends these days is that everything is a trend. That's really, really good to know. You have a lot of freedom with that. I also said patent leather. I don't necessarily think it's patent leather, but it's like really shiny. It's like balloon liquid leather, like almost plastic silicone, like that type of thing. Like I've seen it in leggings, probably if you look on the runway, you can find it in like full outfits. My last tip for spicing up your essentials is to pair a large belt and wear it low waisted. So I actually caved and got my diesel belt and I wore it for fashion week. And one more thing in terms of accessories and like essential accessories, just source really good quality jewelry. Whether it is silver, gold, or rose gold, whatever it is, like depending on your budget, I would say that you could find some really good quality jewelry pieces that won't break your bank. And if you know that you're going to wear them every single day, like you kind of get your return on your investment. That is all for my fall essentials. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. You can of course comment below what your favorite fall essential is. Something that you think you're going to add to your fall essentials wardrobe. If you really like this video, please make sure that you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe because it tells me that you like to see more videos like this. So I definitely want to give you content that you all want to see. And come visit me on Instagram, TikTok. If you want to come visit me on Pinterest, go for it. I'm just like posting like mad over there. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>